right, here I am in a cemetery. This seems to be uh, becoming a recurring theme here. But um, I committed a cardinal motovlogging sin here. When I left the house, I had all my all my batteries in my backpack, and generally, what I do is I keep all the fresh batteries in one side and all the dead batteries in the other side. Well, apparently the last time I was out motovlogging, I never took the batteries out and charged them. So I had a bunch of GoPro batteries that were dead, and the only ones I had left on the other side, and the charge side, were my Artman knockoff batteries. So I'm not getting very good battery life out of them. So I'm, I'm having to stop and do battery changes a little more frequently than I would like. But I knew there was a church up here, and I thought it would be a good place to, to pull off and change batteries since the uh, battery on the GoPro died on me. I shouldn't say it's morbid, but I'm just kind of fascinated with these old these old cemeteries. This one isn't nearly as old as the one I visited in Oli. I was kind of looking at the grave markers as I was coming through. I really should just walk over there and check out some of the dates since I am here. Kind of a shame seeing some of these grave markers. I mean, that one looks like it fell over completely. I don't know, that one's broken or there's just two. It's in 1855. It's really hard to read. Yeah, these look like 1800s. That one's 1850 something. I can't even read them. They're either falling down or so worn it's difficult to see. This is kind of interesting. I'd imagine that the flags are for veterans. They must have some sort of log. You know, some, some sort of digital or paper log. Because I, I can't imagine you'd be able to come out here and read the headstone to see who was who and see who served and where. Then 1861, 1865. It's kind of depressing to see some of these these old graves in such a terrible condition. I mean, just look around. Look at all the ones that are falling down. I mean, it, in, in all honesty, it makes sense. I mean, it, at least if you look at this one over here, that is completely fallen over, you can see that the stone is only, what's that, about eight inches into the ground. You know, with freezing and thawing, you get the ground start moving. I, I can see them starting to shift and start to fall over. It's just kind of a shame to see them in this in this state. I hate to think of the, what those little ones are, whether they're kids or just people that didn't have a lot of money to afford a big elaborate headstone. fell and broke. Oh man. It's another one that's broken. Another one that fell over completely. That one fell over and broke. It looks like this one's separated. So they just kind of laid it down in front. All right, I need to get out of here. This is actually kind of depressing. Just to think one day, hopefully very long time from now, 
I'm gonna be buried in the ground somewhere and this is what my grave's gonna look like. I don't I really don't know what to say. This is kinda of sad. I'm kinda of wishing I didn't I kinda of wish I'd have just stopped in the parking lot and not not seen the entrance to the cemetery. Alright, I need to pick me up. We're gonna get back on the bike and ride a little bit.